We are live, unoriginal FC back in the car. And I just want to do a quick preview for tomorrow's gold medal match between Team USA and France. Now, for me, having watched France uh, against Germany, France will be a, somewhat of a tough matchup for Team USA. I do believe that will be the case. Um, having said that, though, I do think Serbia was and will be Team USA's toughest test throughout these Olympics. I think Serbia match up better against Team USA than, than France do. For me, having watched France, what stuck out to me was, yes, they have a lot of height in Rudy Gobert and uh, Victor Wembanyama. You've got Nicolas Batum. So France have a lot of height, they do. That being said, what stuck out to me was France lack guard play. France don't, don't have any guards. They, they don't have any guards. They, they, their guard rotation is pretty poor. I watched them against France. All of their guards were a little undersized, couldn't really shoot, didn't really have much of a handle. So their, their guard play is non-existent. Um, that being said, though, defensively, France are an issue, especially with the feeble rules, which essentially allow you to, to grab the ball right off of the rim. Um, which essentially allow you to basically go ten. Um, that will that will that will work in the favor of guys like Victor Wembanyama with his insane reach and his insane insane defensive um, capabilities. I I did mention Rudy Gobert, but the funny thing about Rudy Gobert is he hasn't been much of a factor in the in the quarterfinal or the semi final for France. In the, in the semi final game against Germany, Rudy Gobert only played five minutes, so. You know, it's clear to see that not only is he a liability come playoff time, he's a liability for, for the French national team in the Olympics. Offensively, he's a total liability. And yes, while defensively, you know, he, he does have his strengths. I'm going to be honest with you, Rudy Gobert to me, he's always been somewhat of a de defensive liability too. I don't think he's a defender that people make him out to be. I certainly don't believe he should be a four-time defensive player of the year. I think that's criminal in and of itself. So yeah, I think it's it's, quite, it's very interesting that that he's some become somewhat unplayable for France in the Olympics, especially in the games that have mattered most. Victor Wembanyama, for me, listen, I get it. He's the he's the he's the he's the golden boy and whatnot. You know, he had a absolutely stellar rookie campaign for the San Antonio Spurs, but offensively, he has been trash at these Olympics. They've hyped him up at these Olympics. You know, and they, they keep acting like he's the reason as to why France are where they're at in these Olympics when that's far from the case. Offensively, he's been poor for France. I believe he's something of 6 of 30 or 6 of 27 in his last two games in the quarterfinals and semifinals. That's just not going to cut it. That's just not going to cut it. Victor Mbignama has to be somewhat of a fact on offence. Well, he has to be a major fact on offence if they have any chance of beating Team USA tomorrow. Right? Defensively, Victor Wembanyama is doing what Victor Wembanyama does. Insane shot-blocking ability. Um, the, way, the, the way he can just alter opponent's shots. It's, it's, it's truly astounding. And for me, for me I, I know he's a rookie and whatnot, but for me, he had a more legitimate shot for defensive player of the year than Rudy Gobert, if I'm being honest with you. For me, it was between Victor, AD and Bam. Really, Victor, yeah, Victor, AD and Bam were my shouts for defensive player of the year last season. So defensively, we, we know what Victor Wembanyama is about. He's, he's unreal defensively. But offensively, he needs to pick it up and he needs to pick it up fast if France want to win gold. He really does because offensively, he has been poor. The guys that have stood out offensively for France have been the likes of Evan Fournier. Uh, what's, what's that guy's name? Cordonnier? Cordonnier? I mean, Cordonnier's been brilliant. I watched him against Germany. I watched him in the quarterfinal game. Brilliant. He's been one of France's main offensive outlets. Um, cabusele has been brilliant. But yeah, Victor Wembanyama needs to step up offensively big time if, 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 if uh, France are to have any chance of winning. Now on to Team USA. For me, it's very clear what Team USA have to do. You need to continue peddling a lineup which involves 
Kevin Durant, LeBron James and Steph Curry all on the court at the same time. If that game against Serbia showed us any, anything, the time for mixing up a match, mixing a match in the rotation, that stuff is dead. All these lineups where you have three small guards, no, dead. We, we cannot be doing that. Not against a France team that, that, that has the height that they do. No, you match height with height. Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Steph Curry all have to be on the court. And for me, you definitely have to reduce Derek White's minutes. Uh, I think Derek White was a, was, was a non-factor last game and I think he'll be a non-factor against France with all the height that they have. So I think Derek White's minutes need to reduce. As far as Jason Tatum goes with the DMPs, I think Jason Tatum continues to be a DMP for me. I think when you're in a gold medal match, it's, it's, it's no time to be experimenting. And I don't know if I'm willing to trust Jason Tatum and his broken shot at this point in time. I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm willing to, to play a Jason Tatum who's out of rhythm quite clearly because he hasn't had the minutes. And the Jason Tatum's confidence is probably at rock bottom right now. Jason Tatum's confidence is at rock bottom right now. I don't know if I've seen a guy win a... I don't know if I've ever seen a guy win a championship and his stock absolutely crash. This has been a horrible... I mean, you would think winning a championship would be the best month of your life afterwards, all the celebrations and whatnot, but it's been the absolute opposite for Jason Tatum. These last few months for Jason Tatum have been horrible. It's been horrible. It's been horrible. His stock has absolutely crashed. And um, I'm not willing to risk... If, I, if I'm Team USA, I'm not willing to risk playing Jason Tatum in a gold medal match where, where his confidence is clearly on the floor. His shot has been broken for months now. I'm just not willing to, to risk that. But I, but I'm, I'm not willing to risk that. So Jason Tatum, for me, continues to be a DMP. Terry Halliburton, not much needs to be said on him. He's just happy to be there. Keep him as a cheerleader. Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards saw reduced minutes against Serbia. I think I'd continue to do that. Um, Joel Embiid, for me, for me, has to start. I think Joel Embiid may be in for his best game yet against France. I think Joel Embiid matches up brilliantly against France. He matches up brilliantly against France. I think, I think he will bully Victor. I think he will bully Rudy. I think he'll bully whoever they match up against, against Embiid. Uh, let's not forget, when Embiid and Victor Wembanyama matched up last season, Embiid gave him 70. So Embiid's going to be a handful to deal with. And, and I, think, I think Embiid's got added motivation, not to mention the fact it's a gold medal match, but I think he has extra motivation with the way the French have treated him, with the way the French have booed him relentlessly and slandered him. I think Joel Embiid's going to have the bit between his teeth. I think he's going to have to add a tiger, man. I think he's going to be extra motivated to stick it to France. So I think for me, Joel Embiid starts, especially with the way he performed against Serbia, man. He was one of the main reasons as to why Team Jose managed to pull it out the bag. He was unbelievable against Serbia. Um, so yeah, Joel Embiid for me has to start. And I think he's going to have a brilliant game. I think, I think, honestly, I think Team Jose have a more comfortable... <sighs> Matchup-wise, I think they should have a more comfortable game against France, but you have to factor in the, the intangibles. You have to factor in the variables. France are playing on home court. They're going to have the crowd behind them. They're going to have the energy with them. You know, so that could pose some. That could pose a bit of a threat to Team USA. But ultimately, I think the way Team USA had to pull it out the bag against Serbia is going to bode well for them going into this game against France. You know, they're going to. I think they're going to come out against France. Aggressive, tenacious on defense, and I think Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, and LeBron James are gonna call their own number against France. They're gonna call their own number. They're gonna call the plays. It was very clear to see that they tuned out Steve Kerr in that second half and said, "To hell with Steve Kerr. To hell with these bum ass rotations. To hell with these with these whack ass plays. We're going to call game. We're gonna take it upon ourselves to win this game. And that, and that's and that's the mentality they should carry." into the game against France. So it's going to be a fun game, man, and I can't wait. I can't wait. I have Team USA winning. I have Team USA taking gold. It's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a brilliant atmosphere. That being said, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, show love. Unoriginal FC, over and out.